Tammy's being dangerous here. <laughs> I am. I'm making a big mess here. Okay. Okay, so we're so making... So first thing is know how hot things are before you put... Yeah, yeah. This yes, is maybe a little too high. It takes a while to heat up, and I just turned it on, so I didn't expect it to be so hot. So yeah. what I'm doing, you can use fresh pineapple. That would probably be a tastier way to do it. Eh, but that's good is pineapple. Easy, it still so works, it, it I'm is sure. good. It's, it'll be good. So basically, you know, you would peel your pineapple, core it out, make it all pretty, and put it in slices, but uh -huh. I just bought it instead. Okay. And now you so put a little bit of oil in there. I did. Right? I coated the pan in olive oil. Okay. And then, um, let's see, we're going to take, in this pan, I have two-thirds cup of Nutella, and I put six tablespoons of whipping cream in it, basically to kind of make it thinner, but yet really, really creamy. And okay. I'm just heating it so that it will become a... Um, more a little liquefied. easier to work yeah, with. Yeah, it's definitely more easy to work with. Uh huh. Okay, so then I took a package of cream cheese uh -huh. and I warmed it up to room temperature here. This is what we have over here. And I'm going to put This is the important too because mm -hmm. you, you want to be able to work with it and not have a block of cold cream cheese. That's right. So leave it out at room temperature <laughs> yeah. or if you're in a hurry, stick it in the microwave. Yeah. But it will kind of pop on you and make a mess in your microwave. So I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay into my cream cheese. Okay, I don't know if the camera is, I'm getting this where you can see that. And I'm just going to mix it in. And if I had my microwave right with me, I would put this back in to heat it longer. back up a little bit yeah. longer, yeah, to make it nice and creamy. Do you have to tend to the pineapples at all? You want me to mix that? Um, yeah, you mix that, and okay. I'll see if the pineapple's ready to flip over. So we just want to get some nice little grill lines on that pineapple. So, you know, really maybe like up to three minutes per side is probably all you would need. I would make it a little browner than what I have. Okay. But for time's sake, I went ahead and flipped it over. Okay, I'm going to go back to that Nutella, stir it up. It's starting to kind of boil a little bit. I don't know if you can see that at all. Probably not. But it's getting nice and thin. So I'm going to actually go ahead and turn that burner off. Okay. Okay. So this is actually going to be really a pretty little, you know, light dessert mm -hmm. or just something. You could even make it a centerpiece at your table at your summer barbecue. Oh, okay. You could do it on a grill outside, but if you have a grill pan, that works just as well. So. And this is kind of an eyeball sort of recipe. It really it? is. Just you, keep watching things. Those and, are the kind I like. You know yeah, that, right? Like, yeah. you just kind of throw in some things and... Well, you feel like you're doing something. <laughs> yeah. You know, instead yeah. of, well, you throw this in the oven and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And really, this is so fast to put together. So, here's what we're going to do. I think this is about done. I'm going to take this, this plate. this is kind of creamy here. And turn that off. You want the plate? Let's get that plate. Okay. Actually, can you hold that? I can. I'll plate it for you. All right. Again, I would probably go longer on my pineapple to get some nice brown marks and yeah, kind of caramelize good, it a little though. bit. Mm -hmm. And you would do like, you could do like two whole pineapples for how much, you know, oh, uh, yeah. for how much chocolate and cream cheese that we have. Okay. okay so now we're going to drizzle that on. Oh, drizzling. Drizzle, drizzle. And then I'm going to take that out of your hand All right. and show you what else we need to do really quick. This one. Now, if this were a little bit softer, it would probably be easier, but we're just going to put some dollops on it here and there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You I could kind of pile it up, you know, sure. a lot higher than this on a plate with a lot However more pineapple. However you like, right. But there's no wrong way to do it. Okay. And it's a delicious little dessert. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, go for it. I, I am. I brought you a fork. I like pineapple. I like Nutella. I like cream cheese. I don't think you could go wrong then. No, I don't think so As long as you so can either. cut your pineapple. Well, yeah. yeah. I should have brought you a knife. That's all right. <laughs> just I, eat I'm the just whole thing. Have just to eat both just of them. eat the whole thing. <laughs> if I can stab both of them. All, all right. right. Well, up next, Tom got to head over to the Price Cutter in East Battlefield the other day to see what they have going on. So we're going to hear from Price Cutter when we get back. That's right. This is good stuff. You need to try it. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs>